What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 15 Brock Lesnar figure. Now, this is a figure that a lot of us were anticipating, very excited for. We got some updated head sculpts coming in. A great take on Brock Lesnar. How will it compare to his previous Ultimate Edition? Ultimate Warrior is the other figure in the series, and I'm sure we will probably have that review up by tomorrow, I imagine. But Brock Lesnar is here in the Ultimate Edition line. Really excited for it, actually. Like the head sculpts. I love the Elite. 96. I love the first Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition, so today should be very fun, man, but we do have Brock Lesnar right here. Kind of a, I feel like you don't get as much as you really would. Like, where's the cloth goods, you know? There, there's not a lot of interchangeability. We're gonna get into all the details. We're gonna break everything down, of course, but here's Brock Lesnar. If you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but here's Brock Lesnar. As you guys know, typical Ultimate Edition packaging. Brock Lesnar at the top. Front viewing window here with all the accessories series and goodies. WWE Ultimate Edition logo there in the shininess. Mattel logo down here. WWE logo. Brock Lesnar on the side. Brock Lesnar's name down here. You get a shot of the figure there. His name. Ultimate Edition logo. And then you get a beautiful picture of the beast. Bio info and a little bio read right here. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. On the opposite side, it does say Brock Lesnar, and that wraps up the packaging for this figure, man. We're going to crack him out, see what he looks like on the rotating base, get into the accessories, compare his figure, get into the details, of course, but let's shut the hell up, crack out Brock Lesnar, and free the beast. So here's the beast out of the packaging, man. What a unit of a figure, man. I can already tell that this one is going to kick lots of ass. This is, this is a beast, and I am, uh, pun totally intended, man. Holy crap, what a figure. Really enjoying it. You know, I, I've always loved Brock Lesnar, so getting this figure here, I'm really, really excited to dive into the review. Getting, you know, all the differences. Compared to the first version of the Ultimate Edition, it came way back in Series 4. We did get the re-release, you know, that reprinted version, which was still the Series 4 is just, you know, a re-release of the same figure, but uh, we're back here with a new new stuff going on with it, and I'm really excited for it, man, but we're going to dive into his accessories and himself, get into some comparisons, show off all the new bells and whistles with this Brock Lesnar, and of course, break it all down here for you, but if you guys would like to grab this, again, it is available over at Ringside Collectibles. Go use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would greatly appreciate it, but let's dive into Brock Lesnar's accessories, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Lesnar himself. Alright, so getting into Brock Lesnar's Ultimate Edition accessories, man, let's get into these championships. I mean, I'm really enthralled with this. I think this is a new cool thing that they're doing. I've been asking for this for years, and to finally have them in our hands here, man, it's pretty cool. You have the regular Universal Championship. I will say, it feels massive. I think I have a Universal Championship laying around. Yeah, I think I do right here. I want to compare the sizes, because this Universal Championship looks massive, uh, or it feels big. Look at that difference, bro. They're the same size. Nah, I don't think they're the same size. You, you can see the length is a little bit off if you stack them on top of each other. Okay, and they fit out the plate it looks like so maybe it's just like a bit wider I don't, I, don't, I don't know it just looks more official I don't know but I, I still like the painted side plates the Brock Lesnar side plates are really interesting it looks really really good on the figure as well so you start including side why can't they just include side plates with random guys uh, you know or include their championships with side plates I hope they continue that the WWE championship looks really good as well but we do have the Blue Universal championship and the WWE championship and we get both of them right there so now you have two different versions of the championship with the Brock Lesnar side plates, which is really cool. But, you know, we've seen both titles before, but these look really nice, and they look more official. I don't know. They just feel like they these are more accurate than regular championships we've seen from Mattel. But outside of that, the head sculpts are also a huge part of the Ultimate Edition. Now, this just lo this looks like the original head sculpt from the first Brock Lesnar, except it has the added, you know, ponytail to it, and it's got the added beard there. So if we wanted to compare these to the first Ultimate Edition, like, look at this. It's literally the same head, but with added beard and hair. So that's pretty cool to see that come to fruition there. He's like looking off to the left like slightly. So that's a pretty... I like this head sculpt a lot. I like the new man bun head sculpts. I think they look good. You also have another version of the Elite 96. Now this is actually slightly different than the Elite 96. It's not the exact same. You're actually going to see that the blonde hair is a bit darker on the Elite 96. And it's not the complete same. I mean, they are definitely different slightly. It's like kind of a, just a slight repaint there. But, you know, it, it's great likeness. And it looks really, really good on the figure. So the Brock Lesnar head sculpt 
sculpts are looking good there. And then you have the yelling head, which looks like the yelling head, except they added a beard and a man bun, and then I dropped it. But that is pretty nice, man. I think all these are well painted. The sculpt looks good on them. I can't complain about it. I think these are really good head sculpts, and, and the man bun looks really, really nice. I'd like to see the braided one someday, but this is really cool, and I can't wait to get our, you know, our farmer Brock that we're getting in the Amazon 3 pack. But outside of interchangeable heads, you also get your interchangeable hands, which these are the UFC gloves. They do have the choke slamming hands, and these, these, I think, I want to say these are newly sculpted because I think we've seen these, but they haven't had the thumb, you know, removed right there. It's always got the gloved look on it. Like, you know, like the Undertaker choke slamming hands. These are new choke slamming hands with the, with the thumb pad removed or whatever from the glove there. So that's, I think these are new. And then we also get our fisted hands, which are great. I love these sculpt. You get the Lesnar on there. They're massive. You know, they're not normal size hands. They have a thickness to them. They're gloves. You know, he has massive hands. And look at that right there. The thumb is sculpted on there, but it's not painted. So that's kind of tricky there, but it still gets the job done, I think. I, you know, I don't think you not quite notice it, but there's the fisted hands. And last but not least, you get the Elite 96 mic holding hands that do have the, you know, the thumb completely painted in skin tone, so it's more accurate. So that's pretty cool there. But that's what you get for accessories with the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar from Series 15. All right, guys, so getting into Brock Lesnar himself, starting out with the head sculpt, we already took a look at it. We know that it's good. All right, you don't have to brag, Brock. All right, get the, get the hell out. It's a solid head. It's a good head sculpt. I like it. I think it captures him well. Going down into this torso, I love the Ultimate Edition Brock. I love the first version. I just love how seamless it looks. It is really, really nice. And one thing that's crazy about this figure is it doesn't have the gloss that the other one had. We're going to get into the comparisons, but this is like, I don't know, it, it just feels all new, I guess, and it is, but it is using like that same mold. You get that nice seamlessness. You got the tattoos on here. You know, it got the continuation underneath, but it's like matte plastic. I'm sure if you like put your fingers on it and play with it a lot, it's probably going to lose that matte finish, but you do have the pinless double joint arms, butterfly joints, tattoos are all looking good in here. I like the fisted hands, so I went ahead and plugged those in. You do have your black shorts that we saw with the Ultimate Edition last time. The legs are still not pinless, but you know, it's just a standard Brock Lesnar uh, attire. You do get the waistband back here, and you get the tattoo on the back, and you have the butterfly joint tattoos right here that do continue, so it does continue that. Kind of looks odd when you put it in certain positions, but I think you can get away with it. It's not the, you know, it's not the worst thing of all time, but how's the, how the blue hell does that tattoo not continue right there? That's kind of garbage, but I guess it's, it's not terrible, you know? You get enough of it, I think. I don't think it's gonna, like, you know, ruin your day, but it is there, and then going down into the shorts, like we said, you got your regular pinned joints, and then you do have the Ultimate Edition boots, which I, I really like, but damn, this figure feels really nice, as the first Ultimate Edition did, so I have no problems with it, you know? I think that you're gonna have a lot of fun with this figure. Now, as far as the articulation, Articulation. You get some pretty good stuff going on here, and we do have some new articulation to break down just so you guys can showcase it and see what all of it's about. But head still, you know, it's not a ball hinge. It's just your regular ball joint here, but you do get a little bit of articulation out of it. Nothing, you know, mind-blowing or anything. But ab crunch is dece, you know. Uh, it's an ultimate edition, but at least it's seamless. You do get your waist swivel, of course. You get some butterfly joints that are pretty decent. You know, you can go way back here, and, like, yeah, you get some pretty good range of motion. Double joint arm and you can like cross it pretty much all the way across and you know do all the good things so I like it you know I, I, I think it feels really good in the hand you do get a nice decent split here but remember this is the new articulation right here you can actually drop the leg down and kick it forward right here so that is your kind of new articulation right there be careful with it don't be flying in there doing whatever the hell you want you guys can see the gappage right there you can like push it up into position and kick forward and that can also give you that but you can also pull it down and then kick it forward just further so you know that's a really good toe kick right there so you can do that you still can't go backwards which isn't the biggest deal but you are going to get some thigh joint rub right there you do get the double jointed knee you get your boot rotation your anchor rocker your toe pivot and it's just awesome man it really really is i think that it's a great feature i hope that you know all ultimate editions will be going forward with this and i honestly hope that elites get that one day because i think that would be the next step but let's get into some brock lesnar figure comparisons here is the new ultimate edition and then you have some some other Brock Lesnar's here. You got the old, you have the first version of the Ultimate Edition, you have the Elite 96, the new Ultimate Edition, and then you do have, I think this is either the Elite 30 or the GameStop exclusive version. There's other shorts versions, but it's kind of crazy just to see this and just kind of see how things transform. I feel like this one's just bigger, you know? It just gives you a better reference to Brock Lesnar right here. Like, look at that right there, dude. He's bigger. He has more mass. Can you guys see what I'm talking about with the matteness? Like, look at the chest. You see how, like, shiny this one is and how matte this one is? This one's just looks so much better to me. It, it is a step in the right direction. If you guys want the shirt,
short hair brought on the you know the new body you can easily just pop this head off and what do you do you just come over here get your ultimate edition head and you can place the old ultimate edition brock head onto the new one and now you have a you know an older head sculpt but a newer body that can allow for all those other poses so that's what's really cool about it but this brock lesnar kicks all the ass man i love it i think it's fantastic the first version of the ultimate edition brock was one of my favorite ultimate editions now this one's clearly better it's it's definitely better hands down it's better so it will now be now this one will be one of my favorite ultimate editions but that works out for me this is badass but i think that pretty much wraps up our ultimate edition 15 brock lesnar review man i love the figure i i mean I, you can probably tell by the the whole reaction to this review i'm really enjoying it man this is probably one of my favorite figures this year and i know you don't get a ton different from the first version but jesus christ what a piece man if you missed out on that first version you better go buy this right freaking now man this, this is a unit this is a beast i love this figure i think it's fantastic if you're a brock lesnar fan absolutely 100 purchase it i think the accessories are great i love the figure it feels fantastic in the hand looks great i love the new girth to it i like the new updated size to it just a quality football product you know what i'm saying this, this is great man i that's all i need to say i i mean i i really do love the figure that much and i i, I really don't know how else to say it i'm not getting a lot of that crappy looseness i, I i'm loving the aesthetic i'm loving the accessories i'm loving the posability it's a it's a beast incarnate and in every sense of the word but before we get out of here we do have to get into our random shout out because i think we missed it yesterday and today's shout out's gonna go to n n dot i don't know for me it was more about the space than the money i started running out of room so now i have decided to slim down my collection completely and collect only attitude slash ruthless aggression era stuff and i think that's pretty awesome man i think you know like if you could see the space that's in my office i legitimately ran out of space two years ago you know what i'm saying i'm still somehow packing figures in like it's a it's a freaking wreck in here and even when i take the time to put everything in its spot i'm still out of room i've thought about selling a lot of stuff and then i thought about it and uh, i i don't know i, I that's kind of where i am but i think that that you know if you if you worry more about the space than the money you must be blessed you know what i'm saying so i think that's a pretty good deal there but that is going to wrap up the brock lesnar review man thank you guys so very much for watching leave me your thoughts on this figure down below but i'm getting out of here man if you guys would be interested in an mdt patreon could you please leave me your thoughts on it down in the comment section below i've put a lot of thought into it and i think it's something i want to do and make it just like a thing here on the channel where we can like go like use the patreon as like a certain thing that we can put towards a goal you know what i mean like just for instance like use only the patreon money to try and get every single aew chase or something like that and have it like a big celebration every time we check something off and we'll do like a specialty and like you know use the money and you know so i don't know and just put it back into the channel i don't know something like that or i don't know give me your thoughts and ideas man but i'm getting out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys have a blessed one and i'll see you guys in the next one you cross the line i've been